Come on, David, be a sport. He's here already. We'll give you a ride home. Hi, Uncle Joe. Hi, Pamela. Can we give David a ride home? Oh, sure, why not? Okay, sit up here. Okay, like that. David, come over here. Okay, stand right there. You two, look at me. Smile. Okay, that's better. Fine shot. Couldn't stop how I'm coming, cause I'm coming buck wild From the motherland with a wicked, wicked style A piece of ebony, tell me, do you want a piece? When I'm stepping on the scene, watch the suckers decrease and decease Cause non-believers can't believe how we did it Here's another hit, don't sit, get with it Style that I'm dropping, every gun is how I class it Where's the mic? I gotta have it, pass it Chanting out lyrics straight from the native tongue Always coming up, but at times I come down Sound rough neck, what the heck, give me some respect Thinking you're coming right, but with me you get left As I thrill with a skill that I build and display In the native tongue, Quila, what you gotta say? Quila, spell it with the cue, I'm here to wreck a style. Hear the beats are going tribal, tribal with a tribal vibe. Coming from the motherland, the melodies are ethnic. It's my flavor, cause that's how I kept it. I won't stop because I got no breaks. I still rock, cause that's what it takes. No, I don't comb my head, cause my dress must be shaggy. I wear jeans and they hang, cause they're baggy. I clock skeezers and I also bust nuts. I like my girls slim with bodacious butts. It's not enough, cause they're rough and they get no rougher. I'm no suck and I still chuck a rhyme, cause that's how I come. See, from the native tongue. One child coming and another going. Uniform, no uniform. It's called hot seating, Mama. Hi. <laughs> oh. What about that? Hi. With schooling and sports, and one child doing this and another doing that. <laughs> Her mother hasn't even got the time to talk. <laughs> Tandiway. I made the netball team, Mama. Come here. What is it, Mama? You can't be untidy in the team. Did something to me. It's too hot. I'm not hungry. You'll faint at sports. I'm fine, Mama. I'll see you later. Don't be late, Andy. <laughs> she smelling like a garden. Flowers always smell more when the sun is hot. <laughs> <laughs> She's all soaked up. <laughs> Jaggy, grow up. Go find your friends and get to school. Where did you get brandy that smells like roses? Where did you get that nose that pokes into other people's business? Jaggy, don't tell Mama. should be protected from baby brothers. Don't worry, I'll sort something out. I'll let you know. Here she comes. 
More time, huh? More time, okay. I'll have to kill my brother. He'll tell my mother now I'm wearing perfume. Well, so what? Women do. I'm not allowed. My folks are very strict. Nothing wrong. You're a woman now. No, I'm not. I'm still at school. David thinks you are. David what? David thinks you're cute. But he's in low six. So what? That's nice. Why me? I'm four years younger. You gotta start somewhere. And one word of advice. If you want him closer, useless. <laughs> Lashes. When you find one, it doesn't work. She's young. So? When did that stop someone? Don't worry, I've already got spokes to do the job. Give us a light to me. Sorry, no matches. I can tell you one thing for sure. She's more available than matches. Can you? Of course. She just needs some guiding. Like parking a car. Smooth and easy. You check now. Azambi. You know, friend, life is hard. You can't always get what you want. Want a bit? Now you're talking. <laughs> uh, no, no, no way. <laughs> Guess what? What's up? It's your man. No, it's not. Come on, Tandy. He's coming to speak to you. Tandy, when she gets all heated up, it brings out the perfume strong. You get a look at David. <laughs> Hamela, is it you? Dabba. Hey, long time, sweetheart. Did you see David? No. Should I call him? I wanted to see him, but I don't know if it's the right time. Sandra is there. Maybe you'd like to see her. Weren't you two best of friends? Ah, yes. Sandra, please. I'll be right back. Yo, ladies. I found something nice for you. Sandra, get over here. Someone to see you. Just join. Pamela, show yourself. Pamela, what are you doing here? Where have you been? Come. I don't want people to see me. Why? Because I had this. But it's beautiful. It's a she? Mm-hmm. 
What's her name? Sakile. Oh, sweet. I should call the others to see. No, don't, please. It's David. I'd like to see him. Come on, push it, push. Push, you are still under eight seconds, David, push. Nine seconds. I don't believe you did that, man. That's two seconds off the school's record. Hey, where did you get that watch, brother? Ah, it's accurate, Chobi. This is Japanese. Correct to the last 10,000th of a second, man. <laughs> I bought it in iTunes. Genuine guarantee, man. <laughs> I'll be making the Olympics soon with that watch. <laughs> I know, man. Hey, I mean, if they use a useless watch like this for the Olympics, then easy, man. A Zimbabwean get boy can make it with the proper facilities. Track shoes and the like. No problem. No problem, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you guys, my boat take me. I'm telling you, but she has changed in a few months since she left school. How? I don't know. She looked somehow older and sad. I didn't fall. She crashed into me. Rubbish! Ref, she pushed me deliberately and fell over. One free throw and game is over. Score is that game point. It's your shot. It's a foul. That was super score again. I don't think you should say anything about Pamela in front of Tandy. No, it might destroy a beautiful friendship. Yo, babes. Hi, Hi girls. Hello. I like the way you played. You did well. Especially the final shot. It was good. You know, like... Like, like the cream of the icing. <laughs> <laughs> it was a cream of a shot. Thanks. And look, it has certainly helped us to break the icing. <laughs> I want to see you sometime. I saw Pamela today. Pamela? Is she around? I thought she had gone to see your aunt in the rural areas. She's back. She wants to see you. Nah, sometime. I think it's important. You know she has a child. Where is she? <sighs> she says you know where. What's the problem? Spokes will be here any time. It's got some real mean ganja. Tonight, bruh, I'm double booked. <laughs> you? It can only be woman business. What's nice? Hey, just 50 50 dollar. I've got appointments. That's the Dutch man. I know tonight, bruh. I've got to be out of here.
didn't know if you'd come. You say the signal when the street lights come on. True. Perfect timing. I don't know if you'd come or not. Why not? I don't know. It was my idea. Yes. Are you worried about your family? I have a brother. We all got brothers. Mine is a nuisance. He's always asking stupid questions, spying on me. Older? No. Younger. Why did you want to see me? Why do you think? I don't know. Maybe you like the way I play netball. Look, you got some winning qualities, okay? I only just started. I can tell you you're good, even for a beginner. Why don't you see all the girls? I don't even know. Why are you here? I shouldn't be here. No, Tandy. But it's life. That's all. I... I better go. Mama needs help cooking. This young man wants some more here. He's eaten a mountain already. You should be eating yours. I'll have hers for thirds. <laughs> I'm fine, thanks. these days. Sandra told me you were around. Long time. A long time. You live suddenly. That's a nice name. Don't worry. She's not yours. It's so peaceful. Still sticking up the classroom with that lotion princess? Suffering from B.O. See you after class. So why don't you start? No, you start. Wow. There's a fight. That's it. You should organize this contest more often. Manji, you think ah, you said it well. Manji, I am going to hit you. <laughs> yes, and you <laughs> Class. 
Come on, head must not go this way. You see, if you've got two arguing over you, man, that's okay. But physically fighting, then you've got a problem. You see, a man has got to have good government over his women. And unity. Unity, brother, is the name of the game. I'm not interested in Sipo. Not now. What about the dance last term? You're interested then? That was then. Besides, I don't need to think about girls now. I've got the inter-schools to run soon. Ah, well, keep up the running practice, yeah. But remember, you've got to keep your knife sharp as well. <laughs> 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 She's crying. She's so sick all the time. I don't know what to do anymore. What is it? It's me. She's dying, David. From me. What do you mean? Sakile is dying, David. She has AIDS. The doctor said I infected her. Oh, my God. Screaming kids in a big alley fight? What is this all about? One more incident as we had today, and I'll be forced to suspend Tan. Suspend Tan? I would suggest that you speak to your daughter in no uncertain terms, and failing that, seek the advice of a priest or counselor. Priest? Counselor? What does this mean? Why are they asking for somebody to teach my daughter? Are you not the mother? I can't believe it, Baba. Well, it says so here, in black and white. What other proof do you need? Sagatandi, we don't have all the facts. Maybe this other girl pushed her into fighting. We are talking of suspension here. How am I going to look after a girl who gets kicked out of school? What are you going to do with a suspended child? She's not suspended yet, Papa. What does it matter? Now or when? They'll be watching her and deciding her future. My children don't need that. I shall speak to her. Do so. But why did you fight? She pushed me, Mama. <clears throat> Not a full fight that leaves you suspended from school. That is a big fight, Tante. The headmaster has threatened to throw you out of school. I'm sorry, Mama. I won't do it again. But why were you fighting like that? I don't know. She's jealous of me, I guess. Jealous? <laughs> is there a boy involved? I'm dying to find your proper boyfriend with a car. Maybe we can meet a club later. Love more can take us. I can't. My parents want me straight home after school. What about the party I told you about? You know Love more is picking me up? Aren't you coming? I've got to be home by 2 o'clock. Love more has got the afternoon off work. He's just having a few friends around. Come on, T. What about afternoon sports? We don't play on Fridays. So, come along. You can't be prisoners to your parents all your life. What are they going to say? You're nearly 16, T. My father is mad with me. Did you try this? I keep it for emergency. What's it taste like? Sort of sweet and bitter, but it makes class feel better. Waste it. Sorry. I'm not you try. To... No, not now. Some other time. Let's get the party going now. <coughs> Good girl. Always <coughs> oh, the first time. <coughs> Good stuff. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> 
shopping one. Leave me to the snap room. Well, that's a lot more scarf. We can see if it's a more in it. Give me a bit then. Only if we can have a ride in the car. <laughs> we better go, Chanti. Don't you guys want a ride? I do. <laughs> I don't think so, Chanti. Another time. What about the party? If you guys want to party, let's party. Sure, let's party. <laughs> don't you think you should be getting home? Look, you brought me here. And that's where I am going. Well, I'm not living here without you. <laughs> Love me. Let's go. What about your friends? Come on, girls. They aren't coming. They're going to miss out on a good time. Get in the car. So I told him to get lost. Sugar daddy! My husband will be furious. Maybe she's delayed. She finished school at one o'clock. I told her two at the latest. I can't lie to my husband. It's true. But she's a good girl, sis. Then she must act like one. The first day we lay down rules for her, she breaks them. Jackie, take off your uniform. Okay. Do it now. Where's your sister? I saw her just now. Where? By the school. She was talking to someone in a car with Sandra. For the teacher, I guess. Hurry up and change. It's like that all over these days with kids. Come in. Don't worry, they at work. I, uh, I just need some toothpaste to hide the smell. Gosh, I've got to get home. Where's the bathroom? This way. Wait, David's washing. David? Unless you want to go in while he's washing. No, it's okay. No rush. Feel free, there's toothpaste on the west end. Okay. Hey, Tandy. Bathroom is free if you want. Thanks. Oh, what's happening? Where have you been? It's after half past three. I'm sorry, Mama. I said, what time? Two. So what's your excuse? I got held up. By what? I just had to organize a geography textbook with one of the girls in my class. A textbook? They're not enough in the school, Mama. And it took you two hours to organize? She stays far. I see. And your dress, which is now torn. Was that also necessary for geography? No, Mama. I fell. When? You know how costly uniforms are? Come here. You're filthy, Tandu. Your father will have to hear of this. Go inside and change. Don't just tell me. Help me catch it.
Why so late again? No excuse. But um, she had toothpaste on her breath. I think she was drinking. What? Alcohol. I'm so worried, Sigatandi. She's no longer a little girl. I, I don't even know her these days. I'll teach her a lesson. We, we can't just punish her, Baba. Please. We have to talk to her. You have to eat properly. <laughs> David, that's so sweet of you. What am I going to do with that chicken? Cook it. With feathers? Well, I can do something about those. But it's still alive. I can organize that too. What were you going to eat tonight anyway? I had some bread and margarine. It's not enough. You should get out. Get some sunshine. It's bad for you to stay closed up in this room. I can't go out, David. Well, you can't run away in here. Why not? Because it's terrible. It is, David. But please, Pamela, for my sake, enjoy what there is. The baby, she cries. And I can't stand it out there. I wish you could stay like you used to in the old days. I can't. Especially not holding your live cock. <laughs> Now tell me, what have you to say for yourself? You fight at school, you disobey our orders, and you come home with a peck of lies to your mother. It's not lies, Daddy. Where were you for two hours after school? Where were you? At a friend's. But you were seen somewhere near the school talking to somebody in a car. Jay, get away from that door. Have you been smoking? No, father. Drinking? No, father. Then why the toothpaste? Do you think just because we're adults we do not know children? You must be stupid to think that we do not know. I don't think you're stupid, Baba. No! You are stupid. This car business, what is it all about? Who is this man? I never met him before, Daddy. He's Melody's uncle. I know these so-called uncles, who when they get money, they think they can act funny. And just because they have a car, they can cruise up and down, picking up school girls. It's not that, Daddy. So what is it? Am I stupid? Do you think I don't see what is happening when these guys in cars with dark windows come by and shut up my daughter? Do you think they would want to come and visit your family? Do you think they're interested in your education, in your name, in your future? Answer me. Are they interested? They're not. So, who is interested, Tantiwe? Who is interested?
we are interested tandi we your mother your father we are interested from now on until end of term you will report back home immediately after school or sport you will have exactly 30 minutes to be back home you will spend every weekend at home we are yes father am i clear yes father now have you got homework a little you better go and do it I'm worried, Baba. She'll be all right. She's growing so fast. I know. Soon, a woman. You're going to have to talk to him. I try, but I don't know how to. These children know too many things these days, and I can't keep my eye on them all the time. It's the same with Jaggy. <laughs> Jiggy is just a kid. For only a short while, too. He also needs advice. Tandy is the important one, Matau. <laughs> Suddenly, she's a pretty woman. She's getting to look like you when I first met you. <laughs> you have to help me with Tandy, Baba. I don't know what to say. But you'll have to have a full woman's talk. Poor kids of today. Why me? You had taught us go through the same thing before, Auntie. Nothing special. Why can't you talk to her? Mm. These days it's so difficult. These young girls, they don't listen. Anyway, traditional is up to you as Auntie to speak to you. <laughs> uh, Matau. Are you a traditional woman? Or is that an excuse? I just want to get the message over, auntie. Mm -hmm. But tell me, what does my brother think? You know these men. Deep down, they never really change from their tradition. I best the billion food. Who is a reprimanded him? But I don't know whether he or I really understand what she's going through. I do want to speak to her, Auntie. About love. About boys. But how? With my own little girl. Just let it be natural. But we have to talk. She has to learn as dangerous these days. With A's and all, like Kalwa. That's what really worries me. So talk to her. Be honest. She will respect you for the truth and for being concerned about her future, Auntie. Mm. I'll choose the test. Hey, David, do you have to take me the hardest way? Why couldn't we have stuck to the road like most road runners do? You know what I mean? Hey, David, I can't even keep time. Why did you get Cindy to do this job for you? about making love? I want to make love in the rain, right in the middle of a storm, 
with lightning going off all around me. Gosh, it would be magic. Wouldn't you? Oh, anyway, in a summer storm, making love. How many boyfriends have you had? One. Well, sort of. What sort of? I don't know. My brother puts me off, boys. Are you a virgin? Are you a virgin? Um, <laughs> <laughs> You're a virgin! <laughs> My best friends are virgins! <laughs> Who knows? You knew me, David. I didn't have a string of boyfriends. So? Why are you so keen to know? For my sake or yours? For both of us. Well, if you have it, then what about me? I've thought and thought, and only one name keeps coming back to me. Who? Do you remember Joe? He used to be just Umalungu Joe. Uncle Joe? The thing is, he was paying for everything for me. Things I couldn't afford. I even used to get nice clothes and makeup. You remember Umalumu Joe? Okay, come up, sit up here. First that side. Okay, good. David, come over here. Stand right there. Okay. You two face me. Look at me. Okay. Smile. Good. Fine shot. Wonderful. So where is he now? He died. About six months ago. I hadn't seen him for a long time. It was even reported in the papers. Maybe it was quite important. The paper said he died after a long illness. Oh, please, no. How can you be so stupid? Don't call me that. I hate it. Father also called me that, and it's the one thing that makes me mad. Oh, well, we'll have to kill you off now. Jamie, it's time for a bed. There's not a clear of time, Emma. I surrender anyway. You won. Spoiled sport. <laughs> I'll put him to bed, sis. Come on, MJ. Can I stay a while? Sure. We've decided you can attend sports day. Really? When I was your age... Is it uh, because of my schoolwork? No. It's improved. Ever since I was grounded, that's all I ever do. <laughs> Coco will be so pleased and surprised to see how you've grown, becoming a woman. Hardly, Mama. Growing up in the village, we had life easier than you in some ways. How? Well, boys. We're protected somehow. I don't have a boyfriend, Mama. Well, it might happen someday. Boys will become interested in you. It's just that, child, you're still so young and beautiful. And I don't want you hurt. Does loving somehow hurt? Not love, no. But yes, it can. You have to find the right man. And who is the right man? How do you know? You'd know when he comes along. I don't want you to make a mistake, Tandy. There are a lot of men who won't care what happens to you. This is city life. But it's my home, Mama. Just like your village then. I have no other life. This is where I grew up. Oh, Tandy, I'm done. I'm... Take your time. What if... The right man is here, now, and you're in love. Not at 15. 
Yes, Mama. At 15. Some girl, just like me. What if? Oh, Tandy. My dear. Tom, I left the bike at my cabin. Completely destroyed, I tell you. But that Olympian athlete there. Hey, Malume. Today was I'm throwing the search of my men. It's too slow for this ugly friend of ours. Same, same, Shuachum. Let's do one, one. May I rather take a wash than exercise biking? So we saw, but no problem. Watch for bicycle. Sharpest me. What a deal. On your marks. Set. He died about six months ago. The paper said he died after a long illness. David, are you okay? Tandy, careful. Don't touch my blood. Are you all right, David? All right? I don't know, Tandy. I don't know. So 
it could get raining every day. Yeah, I know. When I last came here, so much water. Oh, God. Let's go. You have to tell me. Come on. I tell you everything. Precious, you promised to tell me. Tell this is my boyfriend. My sister's youngest. She married in Pulawayo. And her husband sent her here when she fell ill. No medicine can help her. And the clinic cannot look after her. She will have to remain with us. It is AIDS. Isn't it, Coco? They've said so. Simbi is her child. We'll look after her when the time comes. Oh, Coco. This is the first time in all my years I've seen this kind of dying Tandiwe. They say this sickness is everywhere now. In the town and also here. But here it is worse because there are no hospitals. I just don't know. We're losing her, you know, even before my time. I want to 
show you my place. That's the village there behind that small copy. Wow, did we come that far? Mm. I feel like crying. <laughs> I better sit back here or else I'm going to fall. Sometimes I feel I'm flying also right here. This is where we come, Talis and I. All the time? Mm. When we can, we used to go by the river or collecting firewood. <laughs> But who is going to see us here? But what if you fall pregnant? Tavis will marry me. But it's... The last time here, he told me, he said I was the sweetest, you know. Mm. When you come here, mm -hmm. together, does it really feel like flying? <sighs> and then you are land. Aren't you scared of falling? Don't you hear? Will you marry me? Will you marry me? Close your eyes. Can you hear? I think I can hear the rock breathing. That's what's holding me up. Hey, Pamela, are you okay? Can we take you somewhere? Come, you're with friends now. She died yesterday. Sakile, my little baby, died yesterday. I'm so sorry. Come, you can lean on us now. It was so quick. Come, sister, we'll take you home now. How boring. Have you been? No. What for? Born in the ghetto, die in the ghetto. I am a bone location sweetheart. It was such a nice experience. Everything was so slow, so peaceful. Did you find any sweethead voice, darling? <laughs> <laughs> no, Aristi. It's fine to go to the rurals and be a virgin. That's the way she wants it. Sure, but for how long? Ever seen one of these? They don't really put them on, do they? Of course they do. If I insist. You? I carry a pile. And when I want, I make him use it. Simple. <laughs> you can't. Girls don't carry them. Why is up, Tandy? A guy will never use one of these unless you tell him. 
Mark my words. So if you want him, and you want to avoid all the sorrows, make him use a condom. I want my own. Why don't you go get one for me? No, Sifat, it's your responsibility. You get it. Someone might recognize me. Tell my parents. Get it there. I'll go with you just in case, but you do all the asking. I'm scared. You should be more afraid of dying than buying. You need some assistance there, young lady. Um, no thanks. I'm just looking. Ah. May I help you? Um, you have large cartons. I wanted smaller packages. What's that? Uh, the, uh... The con... Those contract forms. We don't sell stationery. No, I mean... Condoms. <laughs> yes, we have prophylactics in packages of three. How many do you like? I'll have three packages, please. Is there anything else? Oh, no, that'll be all. Thanks. God, Darlene, these are not meant for children. Please take them back. Excuse me, sir. Can you explain why you've refused to sell this young lady condoms? We don't sell contraceptives to minors. What about sexually active minors? You shouldn't be sexually active at your age. And older people should have mutually faithful, monogamous relationships, right? Mm, you're a very informed young lady. Yes, we know what goes on. We know what is good for us. We know how to take good care of ourselves. What? Do you really think we're not old enough to know the side effects of sex, pregnancy, AIDS? Why do you think she wants to buy condoms? Well, uh... Do you really believe you're not mature enough to want to avoid AIDS? Mm. She's talking about leaving for the communal areas. Pamela, man. She says she wanted to die quietly, where she wouldn't be a problem. It's our problem, man. She's with us, you know. Same school, same scene. We grew up together, you know what I mean? Listen, there's something you can do. Spokes is having a gig at the weekend with the rap gang. Sort of aid support party. We're all going. You should get along and stop worrying. Use condoms, for God's sake. <laughs> hey, 
Ndaba, I'm out of here, more time. We're together on this one, brother. This is where you took the cup. I was glad you were there. I was wondering how I could have made it if you hadn't been. You didn't need me to run the race. Tandy, there's a party this Saturday. I want you to come. My parents, I don't know. Ever since last time, they've kept me tied up. Please. I won't go if you don't. You must. I'll see what I can sort out. I'd love to come. Mama. Mama, is something wrong? Yes. Something is wrong. I've been wanting to talk to you properly for a long time, but I couldn't face it. Well, now I've found the courage. You're being very dramatic, Mama. Sex is very dramatic, Tandy. Sex? Mama? Quite correct. Or oh, don't you know? Mama, I haven't tried it. Well, I'm telling you, it's very dramatic. <laughs> dramatic? Yes, girl. It's a shock to the system. It grabs you. It takes over. It takes over? Everything, Tandy. All over. You see, girl, you think you're not better than your mama. But I've been where you're still going. And you, young lady, can't wait to get there. How do you know? Tandy, I know more about you 
and you know about me. Change. We're going for a walk. yourself into. When you look into something, you often find it's not as beautiful as you thought. You will never know looking into me. This AIDS thing, it's like the best gorilla. It can disappear, then come up somewhere, and disappear again into the night. When you find a man, Tandy, make sure you know who he is and where he's been. It's a war, and you must be vigilant. I want to live, Mama. I want to live. If you want to live, Tandy, find a man you can love for life. Sweet talk. The time you start to kiss and hug. All right, you won't catch AIDS by kissing and hugging. But the time you start all that, <laughs> believe me, they never want to stop. Maybe girls don't want to stop either. Yes, it's true. If you can't stop, you need protection. Do you know about condoms, do you? Yes. I saw them in your room. Why were you poking through my things? I'm sorry, my dear. But, Mama, it's my room. I'm glad I did. Because it taught me the lesson. We can't hide things from each other. Not now. It's too dangerous. Don't you see, Tandy? I'm being honest with you for the first time. Won't you be honest with me? Yes, Mama. No! I said no! Can't you hear? What's the matter with you? Tandy, what's wrong? I don't want to. But Tandy, it's just a bit of, you know, hey, sometimes you just feel like it. It's the way it goes. It's life. It's natural. Come on, baby. It's okay. Can't you see? I just don't want to have sex. All right, all right. I'll be gentle. Hmm? I want you, Tandy. Don't do that. What's the matter with you? We want each other, don't we? No, come on, tell me, what's wrong? I'm scared, okay? I am scared. I don't want to be hurt. It doesn't hurt. Besides, we could always use a condom. <laughs> I'd rather wait. I know about love. And, and being safe and everything. But not now, okay? I spoke about it to my mother yesterday. Your mother? Next time I'll put it in writing. Dear Mr. and Mrs., I really love your daughter. Do you mind if I just, uh, you know, do what a man does? <laughs> Gosh. 
You make me want you to. No! Can I ask you a question? Are we still on for the party on Saturday? Well, what if I say no? Then I won't go. You've got to come, please, yes? You? To dance? Just to dance? Just to dance. Nothing heavy. We'll have a great time. Just this once. I'm in Jobian. I'm in I promise, I'll be a good boy. Maybe just a little bit of kissing here and there, but no sex. You promise? Promise. Yes. You couldn't stop how I'm coming, cause I'm coming buck wild. From the motherland with a wicked, wicked style. A piece of ebony, tell me, do you want a piece? When I'm stepping on the scene, watch the suckers decrease and decease. Cause my believers can't believe how we did it. Here's another hit, don't you be careful now. Keep your hands to yourself. Hey, baby. What kind of way is that you talk to somebody who just gave you transport to the party? Ha! You call that bicycle of yours transport? Watch me, of course. Hmm. Think you're coming right, but with me you get left as I thrill with a skill that I build and display in the native tongue. Quila, what you gotta say? Quila, spell it with a Q, I'm here to wreck a style. Hear the beats are going tribal, tribal with a tribal vibe. Coming from the motherland, the melodies are ethnic. It's my flavor, because that's how so I kept beautiful. it. So beautiful. What are we gonna do? Spend time, more time. Let's just enjoy each other. I want to live my life, David. Even if I'm only a teenager, I want to start now. Madam. <laughs> don't know what to say. You're the first girl I've had a relationship with. Who's ever talked the way you do? I also want time. More time. Just to know you. More time, David. More time. This is our party. We organized it, and we're doing it. AIDS is real, but it don't mean you can't feel a piece of reality. You, man, me, us, we're the HIV-free generation. Don't you get caught in the AIDS trap. Now let's all get down to some mean rap with Quayla, Chief, Keith, George, and Chi. Here's a bit of love and a piece of ebony. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Cause this is its age, but our age are the victims Unless we take care, now you really gotta listen We've heard all the warnings, now the moves all depend on how we Handle ourselves and handle our friends Us being the teens and the future's in our hands Survival depends on us having a strong plan Cause we the least affected, the youngest or innocent Keep it that way, or we'll be facing a punishment Now hold up for a minute and let me explain If you wanna live long, then you shouldn't be playing games Cause 
in this age, you gotta have responsibility Cause yo, you can't run away from the reality Reality, which means it surrounds you every day And the person next to you don't look like he got AIDS But one and one is two, and two and two is four So if you got lots of girlfriends, then she might have boys galore Take it nice and slow, no need to be fast And if she's really good to go, use a Jimmy hat black Then you're nice and safe, so my rhymes are not a waste Now you know what time it is, it's time to pump up the bass Pump it Sex pay. 